sangre.
and, and, uh, and Fran uh, went for the, the, yeah, the doctor's the, point. Yeah, because they treated him, they gave him a treatment, but it didn't work. Apparently, that's what Everett told me this morning. And, uh, okay. keep our fingers crossed, bro. Mm. That's not a good thing, you know? No. Bro, this is Tijuana. Yep. Still, right? <coughs> yep. It's a big place, man. Yeah, well, I, I knew it was. Okay. It was, uh, it was good size, but this, this was a lot larger than I expected. <laughs> yeah. And I'm sure it's populated in the hill. Oh. There's another town to open up a break business. Huh? Another town you can open up a break business here. <laughs> yep. Not up and down. Lots of people here. Yeah, man, I didn't think it was...
you start looking at all the video, right? <laughs> I never look at this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was actually hoping it. <laughs> I don't think that I recorded every cactus in my yeah. <laughs> you, you will be sitting in front of the... No, I'm sorry to miss any palm tree. You will be sitting in front of the screen. The screen. No, no, no. The thing is, the, the cam has no focus for this, so it's like really just like three, five meters. You just see colors in any way. Yeah, it's a great tool that. Hey, going like this and like this too. Which established him as a 
singer, songwriter, guitarist, you know, the complete world. I mean, he was accepted by the, uh, the British audience with the, with the reverence that happened with the Beatles, that happened with him. You know, he was loved immediately, you know, really appreciated as the great artist that he was. sort of like move towards the next stage and the next stage was obviously to break America. Well Hey Joe was played in the predictable places, the uh, FM stations. Very few AM top 40 stations would take a chance with it. It was so off the beaten track. They were struggling to get a foot in the door. You know, they were struggling to get the records played and they were struggling to get the kind of attention. But what they did have was the word Va a ser frío Miami. Ya, mañana. Bueno, hoy en la noche, ¿no? Sí, esta noche. 40. Eso es lo que oí. Está, está, está helando. En Jacksonville está 30. Ah, es de lo físico. Oh, Mark is having a hell of a time, I'm sure. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's uh, cold up there. Sí, guys. Sí, ¿Qué es Martí? Es el de la Ah. Ay, ay, ay! You dog. <laughs> Is that a prisoner speaker yeah, off? You hit the wrong button, right? <laughs> too many buttons on these damn things. Oh, right. <laughs> well, mine's on a typewriter. Now he's gonna call me and I'm gonna call him. And we're gonna play tennis. Yeah. Ping pong. Yeah. yeah. Hey! Ma nah, I'm a prim. Look at me, primi, look at me, primi, um, uh, speaker off, my primi, <laughs> and call, and call. See, what are you doing? Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I'm going to go to the car, but I'm going to go to the car, 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 No, pero pues, ahora no andaba a escuchar por bien, tío, como ya salía. Ahora no está la cancel ahí. Ahora ya. No, está para que quiera tu grupo. Vamos, papá. Ajá. Te abro. Ajá. Yeah, but every guy around. Don't bore it, bore it. Don't bore it. 
Oh, so look from here, if you look to your right hand side, you're going to see Marina there, there. Uh, coming up Fisherman Village, this area. For those of you who want to take a photo, I drive a little bit slowly to your right, you see, that gives you a bigger picture of it. This area is Fisherman Village, that's the sign right there, this is Fisherman Village. Fisherman Village has few good restaurants, such as El Torito Restaurant, you know. We used to have fish market, Italian restaurant, uh, entrance to Fisherman Village, coming up right here on your right hand side, look to right, you see. From here they go to Catalina Island, yes, right there, information desk. I guess they go 8 o'clock in the morning, they come 8 at night. Catalina Island is a small island from here. And at the end we have Shanghai Rice, that's Chinese restaurant, open for lunch, breakfast, dinner, only Saturday and Sunday. Monday through Friday, because nobody here, I think it's just open for uh, for lunch. If you go to San Pedro, from San Pedro is 45 minutes boat ride. From here, it takes about 12 hours. They leave here at 8 o'clock, and they come about 8 at 9. How much they charge? Can be seventy-nine dollars or eighty dollars? All right. Now we take you to the other side. Draw a few more minutes and show you a few nice restaurants. We have a lot of good restaurants here, such as Cheesecake Factory. We have Char House, the Warehouse, Casa Escobar, Cafe de Red. Those are good restaurants. On your right hand side, wraps is our supermarket. Yeah, they have everything inside you. They have pharmacy, you see, fresh produce. Wraps is one of major supermarket here. Beside wraps, we have Costco. You have to be a member for Costco, I think. Then we have Food for Less and uh, Albertson, in the four major supermarkets in Southern California.
folks, what up with this right here at Cheesecake Factory, you know? And uh, it's a very, very good restaurant. And another one is the warehouse. Look to your left hand side, please. This restaurant is good. Look to your left hand side. So that's a good place. If you like music, you know, they have live music, live band. You know, every Thursday, night, Friday, night, Saturday, night. and Cafe there on the left. This restaurant, I heard, has, they have nice seafood and nice Leon Marina del Rey on the left, next to it, Tony P's restaurant. And, uh, and what else? Lots of good hotel here. One of nice hotel is Ritz. A Ritz Carlton, so look to your left hand side. Once in a while, I see lots of limousines here. Guess who I saw there a few days ago? Pamela Anderson. You guys know Pamela Anderson from Baywatch? Yeah, yeah I had a pickup in the morning. Eight o'clock in the morning, here she was. She was outside, you know. I think she was waiting for her car, you know, I saw her. And, uh, so you keep your eyes open, you know. You never know who you're going to see. Her. Folks on your left hand side, those are marina towers, those are for rent. Average one bedroom here is about a $3,000 each month. The average one bedroom, one bath for rent, about $3,000 per month. And marina a little bit expensive. Now you are hotel on your right, this is nice hotel, and these flowers on your right hand side, those are Bird of Paradise, as you got. Bird of Paradise, they are native to Hawaii. And Bird of Paradise, they are native to Hawaii. Here I was, folks. I don't know if they are filming something. Then I make it right to you. Look to your left hand side. You see that there on the left? They are filming something. Always they are filming Venice Beach. You know. If you want to live inside, you like it out, you should be safe. One minute early, you know, one minute late is no, no problem. But don't be like five minutes late or, you know, ten minutes early. And folks, look to your left hand side. End of this street, you're gonna see basketball court. Look to your left hand side. So, did you see that basketball court? Oh, no. Basketball court featured in what movie? One movie was filmed. Uh, can you name that movie? White Man Cannot Jump. The movie called White Man Cannot Jump was filmed. Uh, and right next to it is Muscle Beach. So you want to see Muscle Beach? It's right next to Basketball Court. Folks, this is Market. Market Street. And uh, you go straight ahead, that's Venice Beach. If you make it left, you see Muscle Beach, which is about, you know, five minutes from here. If you decide to go right or left, it's all 1706. 1904, they built this building. Venetian style building. And this is downtown Venice Beach, just one intersection. In old days, you know, in hippie days, uh, they had lots of, you know, bathhouses around here, salt bathhouse, and none exist anymore. Those bathhouses doesn't exist no more. But the original building field left you see around here. Now we're gonna make a left on Pacific Avenue. And we continue toward Beverly Hills. We got 20 minutes drive ahead of us. Beverly Hills. And uh, drive through Rodeo Drive. And there's lots of expensive shops there. And let's see how the traffic goes. Traffic so far so good. But on your right hand side, this is Venice Cafe. It used to be Patrick for this few years ago. Folks, original gold gym coming up on your right hand side. Very first one, different than Venice Beach, and uh, 
beach volleyball. It's popular here, surfing, a nice park, lots of beautiful palm trees, safe and uh, and uh, for those of you who didn't get to see Pacific Ocean from here, I think you have a nice view to your left. So Santa Monica is not from here. A bicycle path on the left hand side is stretch about 400 kilometers. Good place for jogging, bike riding, skateboarding, roller skating, inline skating, and so forth. When I make a right turn, you look to your left hand side, you get to see Santa Monica Pier, one of the biggest and oldest pier of the Pacific Ocean. Look to your left hand side, please, folks, on the left, you see that? You see from here, part of it. So that's another good place to go out evening, you know, like Saturday afternoon and Friday night, you know, it's busy. Roller coaster, a few restaurant shops, and uh, Ferguson Promenade in Santa Monica is nice. Something about this freeway, this freeway number 10, which we call the Santa Monica freeway, is one of the longest freeway in the United States. Yeah. It goes from Pacific Ocean all the way to Atlantic Ocean. So this freeway is cost to cost. And this freeway on your right hand side, if you like, we call it San Diego freeway. That's one of the busiest freeway in the nation. San Diego freeway starts from Mexico. Start from Mexican border and uh, it goes all the way to Canada. So this section of 405 we call it San Diego Freeway. Now if you look to your left hand side you get to see Central City. So I'm gonna take you through Central City, show you 20th century, Fox Studio. Then after that we go to Beverly Hills. You see, for I'm here, folks, you have a nice view of St. Joseph. You have MGM building and a couple of nice hotels, a couple of buildings. So that's coming up next in 10 minutes.